Many of us, it, there's no way it can be 20 years. Feels like just not that long ago. But the Olympic Park bombing during the Olympic Games 20 years ago. And Channel 2's Linda Stouffer talked to one member of the WSB family who was in the park. I looked up and I could see black smoke coming from the top of the AT&T Global Village. WSB's Mark McKay was close enough to feel it. Uh -huh. When the bomb thundered through Centennial Olympic Park. It was a very concussive, you could feel it, the explosion. I Within minutes, he was smoke, on CNN explaining the, uh, to the world that Atlanta's celebration was suddenly a crime scene. Two people killed, more than 100 injured. It was very loud. It, it, it made you wince. It made you wince when you heard it. The chief of the Atlanta Olympics, Billy Payne, told us even 20 years later, he remembers the weight of those critical next hours. I think the question there was, you know, very, very straightforwardly, the president and the governor and the mayor and me and Andy Young and the International Olympic Committee, what do we do now? You know, do, do, we, do we close down the games? Is it over? But it wasn't over. Through the shock of what had happened, the games picked up again with Olympic spirit. Despite all of this tragedy that has us all in, 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 in tears, um, we can't stop this wonderful celebration that's been going on. And uh, I think we made the right decision. McKay hopes people remember how Atlanta rallied. People were here in the park in mass before the bombing. There were probably more people here after the bombing to show the support and to show that they would not be uh, not not be deterred by one person doing a very bad thing. And as Centennial Olympic Park turns 20, it's getting a major makeover, a 25 million dollar investment in what's become such an important part of the city. In downtown Atlanta, Linda Stofer, Channel 2 Action News. Or details.